I'm Jonathan Cole. I'm a clinical doctor and a neuroscientist, but also an author and writer. I first suggested to Andrew Dawson that we should do Sackley Island as a play, and I'm delighted that he agreed. And that piece of theatre is going to be called The Russian Doctor. I've been reading Chekhov for years, and short stories in particular, and I came across Sackley Island, the book, and it's bigger than his short stories, most of them, and it's bigger than the plays, and I'd not heard of it, so I read it. And I was amazed that he did this and that no one really had heard of it. Um, and I'd long thought, probably nearly a decade or so, that it should be done something with. And I thought it would do very well to be dramatised. He, he took nearly three years over the whole project. So it took him in time scale as long as the great plays, probably. Uh, he took three months to get there, he spent three months there, then he took two months to get back. Horrendous conditions. And he went, I mean, we don't know why he went, but one, one main given reason for him going was to draw attention to the uninhabitable, awful lives that the people there were living. So he went using his pen to try and change penal conditions. An astonishing thing to try to do. It's also the case that he went, he went as a doctor. He was, he was concerned that he hadn't done enough medicine because he was a writer. He went to repay his debt to medicine. His view of the conditions there were not simply of the humans, but he was very interested in the ecology and geology and agriculture of the island too. And he went overall to try to understand how a group of people could be put through such conditions. No one, he said, understood what happened on Sakhalin, and yet we were all guilty of sending people there. He tried to wake and awaken the conscience of a nation with that, using his pen and his observation. In terms of being a clinician and a neuroscientist, Chekhov is just wonderful at the way he observes what's going on and the way he writes and presents it to us without trying to put a particular position. He just observes with such a clarity and curiosity, but also brings out in us a certain compassion. I, I think you'd, you'd be inhuman yourself if you didn't in some way respond to that. He writes so vividly about the people he meets, not about penal conditions in general, but about the people he meets there. And it's the only time that Chekhov, if you like, is there in what he's writing. He observes everything, and it's through his eyes that you see it. And again and again, it's so vivid, his observation and his ability to portray what it was like for the people there. But also, he went, and in the end, he wrote it as an MD thesis. And he tried to take a bit of the colour out of it, but he was incapable of not writing like a genius. And then there's tremendously lyrical passages where he describes the lamentation of trees and the waves on the shore that no one can hear. And you think, oh, I wish I could write like that. 